Oh, guys, you do know how I love a little bit of Wipeout. And this is not really that, but sort of. So this is Hover Crash, a game that came out a while back, and one of our speed reviews we're doing over the Christmas period. Oh my god, this is hard to play and talk about. Uh, it's a game which obviously takes its cues from futuristic anti-grav racers. I'm going to release my finger in a second and show you something kind of neat. Let me try and get a multiplier up. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Now, the way that it works is the craft accelerates automatically. I lift my finger in order to gain extra multiplier stuff. So if I release now, you can see the bar goes up on the top of the screen. Obviously, when I do so, I'm not steering it, so it opens me up to potential death. So that's the kind of gambling element of the game. It's very, very twitchy in so much as you have to move your finger only ever so slightly to cover one entire like scale of the, the width of the course, which is what makes it really, really tricky. Uh, when I started playing it, I was immediately dragging too far left and too far right, so be wary of that if you give it a go. It's actually pretty good and pretty fun because it does force you to sort of push your luck. If you read Harry's review over on PG, uh, he describes it very well. It really does, because if I, I've got my finger down this whole time and it takes too long for the multiplier to charge and I'm dead. Uh, I can continue using coins if I want to. It is a free-to-play game. I can make one payment uh, of like 79p or something to get rid of all the ads forever. So that's good. It doesn't, you don't have to put up with that stuff forever. You can just pay for it like it were a normal game. Isn't that nice? Let me release my finger. See the multiplier go up. As soon as I put my finger down again, oh, it changes. I can't release it here. Okay, go. And then as soon as it goes up, we change level, we change color. Ah, oh, and I smash into a barrier. Not so good. Is it worth your time? I'm going to carry on. I'm going to pay some coins and carry on. Um, it's fun to pick up and play. Again, it doesn't change a great deal. It just gets faster and faster and more frenetic and a few more obstacles pop up. It's an okay little time killer. It's not a serious heavy duty thing. And it's quite rewarding for its twitchiness. I do like it when I manage to sneak through a gap at the last minute. You get that little thrill of, yes, just made it. And it looks pretty enough. And as long as you can tolerate the dubstep music, then you're okay. But uh, it's not really going to change the world. I'm not going to be, well, I'm not going to lie here. But it's fun enough, and you can pick it up for free, and if you really get tied in, then you can just ditch all the ads and stuff and, you know, have it as a proper, proper game. Look at me go. Oh, and I've been mushed to death, and that'll be me. Uh, Hover Crash is the name. iPhone, iPad, I think Android as well right now. Uh, free to play. You can go grab it if you want.